Y'all ready? ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? Y'all ready? ready? Welcome to the Upside Down Smiley Show, where we talk about real life, and we don't take life too seriously, and we hear the stories of everyday people. My name is Shireen, and we have Akash here, and we're gonna be talking about live music. Cue the intro. Akash here and he has an Instagram called Concert Cash and what's what's the reasoning behind all that? Uh, so pretty much I found myself going to a lot of uh, concerts in yeah. general like uh -huh. there's free shows or festivals and stuff Okay. and I always get people hitting me up on Instagram and like Snapchat like yo bro how was this show? Yeah, yeah, I feel like yeah. a year later sometimes they're like yo should I go see this artist? Yeah. And like I always like want to a vlog or a vlog of some sort. Yeah. So I just figured like I might as well do it about something I'm passionate about. Right. I'm gonna go to these concerts anyway. So I might as well just put something together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so have yeah. you been blogging it? Yeah, so I'm on, I'm on YouTube. I just started YouTube cool. on my Instagram and nice. I and I put it on Medium too. Oh cool. Yeah. What's Medium? Uh, Medium's a blog site, so you cool. can go read everyone's blogs. Oh, so and on my know. website, I have like a link to all those things. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah. how long have you been doing that? Uh, I started at the beginning of the year, 2018. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Um, what was the first concert you went, you went to? The first concert ever I went to? Yeah. Um, back when I was a kid in like middle school, uh -huh. uh, my cousin took me to see a Bollywood singer, he was Rishomia. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, it was a cool concert. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, my first concert was uh, Lil Bow Wow. Okay, for sure. Um, my sister brought me, I think it was my eighth grade um, like graduation present. Oh, that's awesome. Um, it was like Bow Wow, B2K. And yeah, and then I remember going to like some all that. Do you remember all oh, that? I remember all that. Some yeah. all that concerts yeah. uh, with my sister, and there were, I remember. I um, remember Sammy. Yeah. Um, Sammy was like I feel like the one of the big um, artists, and me and my friend like wrote Sammy on our arms, and then oh, he, that's didn't, awesome. he didn't end up showing up. Oh, the <laughs> <laughs> I've always been really into live music. I think just music in general. I like you know I I think I have like just a. I don't know, a connection to music. Well, I think we all vibe I think we, to it. We all do. It's, it's definitely right. like a scientific thing. Like yeah. it, it calms you. It, it is, it can do things to your emotions, right? What's your favorite show you've ever been to? Uh, it's hard to like put one show together. Yeah. Um, but I think on Twitter recently I said it was, uh, I saw Chance the Rapper in 2017. Oh, nice. Yeah. I like camped out pretty much the whole day. So yeah. I was like, you were second like, row. Good spot. Yeah, it was just, it was really cool to it see everyone. It was worth it? Was it, it was, worth it? I thought it was worth it. Yeah. Um, you know, I didn't really care to see that many other people that day. Yeah. Um, and then like, you know, everyone's waiting for Kanye to come out. He yeah. brought out Vic Mensa and like, okay. I love Vic Mensa. He's one of my favorite okay, rappers, okay. so it was just, it was great. So it was good for you, yeah. yeah. Um, I think my favorite concert was, um, I saw Bruno Mars. I think it was like nine years ago okay. now, eight or nine years ago. It was like before he got really big. Where at? He was at um, Bottom Lounge. Okay. So small venue, yeah. standing room only. He played the drums. He played the guitar. He played everything. Yeah. And, it was like and crazy dancing at the time too or no? His dancing wasn't as big. It was right. more of like the full on band. Right. And they were all just like super into it. And like, that's what I love. I, I love, so I work with talent, right? right. I work with artists. And so like that's a huge reason why I like working with talent is like seeing them just light up yeah. when they perform and when you are a part of that process, it's just like, man, I'm like making it easier for them to just do their thing. Yeah, right? for sure. It's like thinking there's like a close tie. There's this reggae artist named J Bug okay. and he's had two shows at the same venue. So I like small right, shows. Right, for sure. Yeah, my favorite venue uh, is uh, Talia Hall, actually. Yeah, I love Talia Hall yeah. too. This, this artist named J Bug, he has a full on band. Mm -hmm like three background singers, it's always hype. Right. There's always like a lot of, you know, stuff going on in the audience, like people are passing stuff. Right. <laughs> um, and like his openers are always so fire. Like I never yeah. know who they are, right. but then I'm always like afterwards, cause you're usually around like $30 tickets. I'm like, I owe y'all money. So I end up going to the merch table. I usually spend like at least like a hundred bucks. Oh nice. Cause I'm always just like, you guys are so talented. Yeah. I'm like so happy. And you gotta support them too. It's like yeah. 30 bucks to see a show. Like, right. like they make money on that merch too. Yeah, like I'm like, what did they make? Yeah. Right? Like there's like so many people on stage at right. like throughout the night that I'm like, oh my gosh, how, how are they even doing this? And it's like, I think it's so giving of musicians to like share their time like that and share right. their talent. I, I obviously feel like, you know, if you are born to be a creative, like you will likely have to just do it, right? Yeah. You, you may resist and try to do like a standard job or like kind of, or you can even do it on the side or whatever the case is. It's hard to not share it. 
Right. right. The whole vibe, just yeah. like seeing seeing the artists like come into their own. Yeah. And especially with hip hop these days, sometimes you don't yeah. always see it because sometimes like, you see like rappers just on stage just screaming their lyrics, mm -hmm. and it's not fun, right? Yeah. It's like I could listen to this at home. Right. Right. And you feel like a lot of rappers are doing it live. So like some of them are and some of them are, right? Yeah. And it depends like just like the Migos and Ray Trevor, both artists like they see everywhere I go. Yeah. And like the Migos, I feel like they're just screaming on top of their lungs. So, like yeah, it's yeah, fun yeah. and all for like ten yeah. minutes, but it gets kind of old. Versus yeah. like when I see Sway Lee, like. He's performing his his lines like he's still yeah. hype. He's jumping over the fucking stage and everything, but like mm -hmm. he's still like putting on a show. Right. Yeah. What was the last show that you went, went to? Uh, I went to go see Gasefelstein last night, and I okay. saw Logic on Friday. Dang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I um I listened to a podcast with Logic. Yeah. And he seems like an interesting. Oh yeah, he's awesome. Actually, um, I met him in 2012 okay. at backstage at Lala, and I was like oh, cool. really cool. Yeah. And um, I liked his like album right before this. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And so my friends let's go see Logic. Do you ever splurge into like VIP or um, backstage access? I always that? wanted to, but I just I don't do it often. Right. Yeah, I know it, it adds up. It adds yeah, up. Yeah, it's really expensive. And then I also since I've like worked festivals and I've worked shows and I've like had access, it's hard for me to pay for it. Okay. And then also it's kind of. Now, I, I also feel like it's a cool experience to right. be in GA. Like you're in it, you're like yeah. you're watching it with the, the crowd. The energy is definitely there. Um, but sometimes I'm like, I just want a clean bathroom. I agree. So like for for Lala especially, uh, back in like 2014, yeah. 2015, there was the easy way to get backstage. I mean, my friends were able to like Ooh. go back when we wanted to, yeah. and we were able to like spend time in GA also. Yeah. And so like it was fun. It was a great experience. But now it's yeah. like that that doesn't exist anymore. So it's like. Right. I was used to it for free. Why would I pay thousands of dollars for it? It's expensive. It's expensive. Like festivals are really expensive. Festivals are expensive. So yeah, like do you? I definitely feel like I'm like a festival person. Yeah, music festivals are my. I live for Lala, Coachella. Yeah. yeah. I've never been to Coachella. I like went last life. year for the first time. It was great. Like uh, during the day, you just go to these parties and like uh -huh. there's people performing, like pretty big artists performing yeah, too. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I never heard of Lewis a Child until I saw them at a Coachella party. I've, heard, I've learned so much. Like yeah. I learn about artists when I just go to a show. I've, yeah, for when sure. I went to Mambi the first. Time, like as an attendant or whatever. Right, right. Um, I didn't. We didn't know any of the artists. Yeah, exactly. we know any of the lineup. We just like sat and enjoyed yeah. ourselves. The first time went to Lala too, like 2014, 2015. I mm -hmm. knew like four artists. Yeah. And like over the last like you know however many years, I've seen them multiple times. I know. People. And then you see yeah. them grow. Exactly. And you feel like you're part of the journey, which is like Travis Scott. The first time I saw Travis Scott was at Lala, uh -huh. and I was like when he got kicked off the stage because uh -huh. he just caused a riot, uh -huh. and like he was playing in Paris, and now this guy's like headlining his own festival, of, like. It's Hundreds crazy. of thousands of people, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, like you almost feel like proud. I, I mean, I truly feel like proud too, of like yeah. artists when they have, because it's really hard to it's stick to hard. that kind of yeah. stuff. I, I went to this conference yesterday and they were talking to this actor that played in Hamilton. Right. He was just talking about all of the crap he went through and yeah. all of like, there's so many points in like artist careers that you're like, I oh, should I just give up? Like, should I just get For a regular 100%. job right now? Yeah. I definitely love festivals. I think it's just like, I like to just like chill, like sit on the grass. Uh, okay, I can't, I can't get yeah. dirty and shit. No, I'll bring a sheet. Okay, for I'll sure. Always bring okay. A, I'll always bring a sheet. I guess like the old sheet. My All right, mom. oh, for sure. So the um, Indian, Indian sheet everyone has at home. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. For sure. And then I'll just like, I like to just chill, like just sit. And I love being outside, I love right. being in the sun. Um, that's just like my happy place. Have you ever been to Burning Man? No, it's something I've considered doing. Yeah, me yeah. too. I really want to. I feel like um, I'm just intrigued. I'm intrigued by it's the like, whole... It's more than a festival, a music it's like festival. A, it's, it's a like, community. It's a whole community, that's what yeah. they say. So I don't want to do a whole commitment. I don't, I don't do drugs and stuff like that. Yeah. But, um, you know, maybe check it out one time. Right, yeah, I feel yeah. like it would be a cool experience. I've heard people that have gone and have yeah. not done drugs. I don't right. think you have like, to You don't do have drugs. to, right. Yeah, I think it's just like, just like a different kind of experience. Right. I'm like, well, it's like a week long commitment that you have to like yeah. be ready. Like, all right, so let's go. And for it's it. kind of a big financial commitment. Yeah, that's right? true. Right. Do I really want to go to Fire Festival? I remember like uh, when I saw the Instagram ads, and I was telling my boy at pharmacy. I know I didn't see the ads. Like I oh, must have just missed it when it happened. I was like, I saw good music's gonna be like, oh, we do Kanye's gonna be on this island. Like we have to go. We don't have school that week. I mean, it looks fire. Like it's it, legit. Look insane. Yeah. And I was like, my friends like, no, we can't go. I'm like, why? How much were tickets? It was like a thousand bucks or something. I'm like, dude, we can afford it. Like you know, we have student loans. Just max it out. It's all good. Yeah. And I was like ready to go, and my friend convinced me not to go. Yeah. And then when the whole thing was exploding on Twitter and Instagram, he's like, remember when I told you not to go? And I'm like, yeah, I do. Yeah, man, that was crazy. <laughs> Did you watch both? the Netflix. I watched Netflix, Netflix and the Hulu, Hulu one. Yeah, I think I like yeah. the Hulu one better. That was crazy. Yeah. And like being on the production side, like, you know, knowing what goes into right. it, I was just like, they, I think they, even no just, they just didn't want 
to fail. I agree. I mean, like, yeah. I mean, I do like that's a, a huge bit, failure. I do a little bit of acting modeling. This production guys like do work. They do so much work into like yeah. getting stuff ready and like. It's a it's team. Just, like, it's unfortunate the way it played out. Right. Yeah. yeah I don't think that it was. That was the intention from the beginning. No, it wasn't. Like, right. I think they were gonna try to make it happen. And right. They just kind of scrap. Kind of mess up, but anyway, yeah. Um, if you've never been to a show, definitely go see a show. Yeah, for you can, sure. there's so many free shows. In so many free shows. I check like uh, Do Three One Two. Yeah, Rand presents. Uh, yeah, I just check them out and see what they have to offer. Yeah, Do Three One Two has a lot of stuff. They do a lot of stuff, and you can um, just RSVP on there. And yeah, sometimes you can get a free drink for a lot of. Sometimes, RSVPs. yeah. Thanks for being here. Man. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, comment, do all the things. All right, and... check me out. Concert oh, yeah. cash. Concert cash. Yep, concert cash. Yep, and we. I literally met him at a concert. Yes. I, met, I met him at the Up Up Nomad, Nomad show, which was an insane show. Like I, I really it enjoyed was really it. good. Yeah. He had really, really good energy yeah. and like his opener. At what? Yeah. So like I even said that in my YouTube video. Like I don't talk about. Dang, I gotta watch your YouTube video. Yeah. I was like, like, I don't, like, all right. Like, yeah. I don't really talk about openers except like Illy and Femdad. They're two rappers from Chicago. Only two openers I ever talked about. Yeah. And I'm like, dude, I like I have to take a minute to talk about Atwood because he was insane. He was so yeah. good. He was so unassuming. Yeah. Um. He's like versatile too. Yeah. He had different styles and stuff. Very like, passionate. Yeah. Very like just really good performer. Yeah. Um, just looked like a little like seventeen year old little yeah. white boy. Like when he first started, I was like, alright, what the hell is this guy? And then he started, I was like, oh shit, it was like so good, work. so yeah. good. Um, so yeah, definitely go check out all the people we just talked about. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, come through. I do this every single week. We do weekly episodes on Tuesdays, and yeah, bye.